What is up guys, welcome to my channel, my name is EJ, and the reason I'm starting this channel is really just due to one fact. I am going to be going on a little bit of an adventure, I guess you could say. I'm going to be driving from Ottawa, Canada to Costa Rica, through the United States, Mexico, Honduras, Guatemala, etc. So, with that being said... How am I going to be getting there? Well, my original plan was to buy a bus and convert it, but uh, living in Ottawa, it's hard to find a bus that's in good condition, and buses are really going up in price right now, so I'm getting a vintage RV, and I'm going to be renovating it and making sure that everything is ready for me to go, installing a solar system, and... Um, I'm going to be boondocking it for a while before I get there, so I need to make sure that everything is in order, and I think I finally found the one after going to see a bunch of different ones. Uh, last week I went to Montreal, and I found one that I think is in really good shape. It has no rust on the underbody, it came from the United States. So with that being said, we are going to go, and we are going to pay for it, and we are going to drive it back here. So that's what today's video is going to be about. I'll show you guys the RV when I get there, and then from there on, it's pretty, pretty straightforward. Just get it back here and uh, get to work. And we're here. Here she is. Got a nice tread on there. Soon I'll show you guys the inside. For now, it's paperwork time. What is up guys? I am now currently driving the RV after I went to go do the paperwork. They said uh, since I'm buying it in Quebec and I live in Ontario that and I already have a license plate that I don't need to do any registration there. I can just go to Service Ontario and do that at my leisure. So there's that. I wasted about an hour there but we're all good. We're driving back now and I just went and got gas and I discovered that if I fill it up too much it, it, it pours out at the seam at the top of the tank so less than ideal considering the first tank the gas pump isn't currently working so I only have the rear fuel tank but with that being said I should be able to have enough gas to get back and uh, get this show on the road but yeah there's already one thing to add to the checklist that is already a few miles long but we're all good, we're driving, everything seems relatively okay, and I feel like I'll make it back a-okay. So here's a little quick glance, and that's that. All right, stay tuned, almost missed my exit, peace. going well. Brakes are a bit finicky. I think they need to be bled, but they said they were just done, so I don't know. Anyway, just checking in. What is up, guys? This is just another little check-in. Uh, I'm about 70 kilometers away from my house, and we're on the highway. It quieted down a bit on the roads here, and Everything is seemingly going pretty smoothly. Well, it is a bit windy today, so it's swaying like side to side and I have to be pretty vigilant with the steering. But with that being said, I have my amazing grandfather behind me, just in case he's driving, tailgating me, making sure everything's all right. So, big shout 
shout out to my grandpa. Never lets me down. I love that man. And anyways, that's about it uh, for this uh, check-in. We're in some nice farmland here in the uh, eastern Ontario area. Uh, let me give you guys a look. So this is the road ahead of me for a little while. We got the cruise control set. Going about 95. All as well. And uh, yeah. Side tour. This is for the fridge, generator. Uh, this is for that old hot water heater. That's the propane tank. What's up everybody? I'm back. I'm finally at my house. And uh, I filled up when I got back home and I made sure not to spill it this time and let it leak out, but everything, everything seems to be good. And um, it's like a sauna in here right now though. It is extremely hot, I don't have AC on. I haven't actually used it yet, but we'll get to that when we when we cross that road. But for now, I just wanted to show you guys around, finally. The interior of this thing is a little updated, but uh, the work is pretty shoddy, and I'll most likely be redoing just about everything except the counters and... Uh, the cabinets most likely. I'll be redoing the floors. I'll re be redoing the ceiling, the walls. I have to redo, well, not even redo, I have to finish this. And then uh, I have to do a lot of ceiling in the bathroom area, in the shower. There's so many gaps and the last thing I want is a fat water leak. Um, other than that, it's mostly cosmetic stuff from there and I have some mechanical stuff to do, some body work and things of that nature so let me show you around real quick and uh, yeah alright so to start this off here's the cab this is where the motor goes it's pretty pretty much like a bus style and this is for the old CB radio other than that we just got the old cassette the AC system that needs a recharge I think these are pretty cool. These tell you if you're level or not, and right now I'm not level. I guess my driveway's not level, and uh, the steering wheel, cruise control, all that stuff. But here's the part that's not finished. It's just raw metal, and there's like screws sticking out. Unfinished wiring. And uh, above here, they cut this out. And here's a bed. However, I'm most likely going to use this as a storage space. This lifts up. So if I have this open, it'll be a lot easier for me to access the cabin from the main living area because I'm 6'3". And that's another thing that I really liked about this RV. I have enough headspace to where, you know, I don't run the risk of hitting my head even over here where it's shorter. If I stand up perfectly tall, I'm like just, just clearing the AC unit. So I think that was pretty neat. It was definitely a selling point. I wanted something that I could stand up in. And the thing about a lot of buses is, because I was going to start with a bus conversion, but I didn't want to do a roof raise. 
because I definitely would have needed to, especially after adding insulation, redoing the flooring. You lose a few inches there, so. That's one of the reasons why I decided to go the RV route. Another reason is I already have a pretty decent template here in terms of wiring and plumbing. I'm gonna be installing solar panels on this because I'm gonna be doing boondocking and I'm gonna be going pretty far in distance in my entire journey. So I wanna be able to have power at all times. So what do you think? Nice. It's, uh... It work, but it's fixer nice. upper. It's a fixer upper. But, but you, you've got time. There's no rush. It has a pretty good layout too. Yeah. But like I was saying earlier, I have a lot of ceiling to do. Ceiling in terms of the bathroom and making sure I don't get water leaks behind the wall because there's big gaps there, and uh, some of the paint's peeling off, and it's definitely not waterproof. Yeah. So can, there's that. We can deal with and that. then the ceiling. I want to take it off to f change it, but also to check to make sure there's no water damage. You'd probably see it through the, and through the roof if there was. Well, I figured because it's going to pool, right? It's going to take the lowest, lowest, ouch, lowest spot, and it's going to start yeah. dripping from there. It right? depends on when they change this stuff, because that's another thing I don't know, but and as well as how much yeah. time it'll take to go through the roof. But they redid the roof in like um, a welded elastomer, like like um, on a regular house roof or a shed or something like that. No, well then it should, so it should never leak. Theoretically it should never leak, mm -hmm. but I saw patches where they but, were fixing uh, yeah, something. Yeah, I mean it needs so. some interior decorating, you know, change out some things. New paint. New paint, new tile, maybe some new flooring. Yeah, and the wallpaper it has to, to go. redo the flooring in the Cab, but, uh, Where do you ever see turquoise carpet nowadays? Well, it's supposed to match the beige. <laughs> it's 1970s green. Uh, yeah. The seat is pretty well faded, but not too, not uh, uncomfortable, and definitely not the comfiest. Give us your businessman's package uh, cleaning. And yeah, be good to go. It's gonna need a detail. Um, but yeah, it has a lot of storage space, a lot of. Nice windows. Probably not as much storage space as everything you own, clothing-wise. Well, I think it'll I fit, think but so. I plan on getting rid of quite a few things. Got a nice oven and stove. Some plumbing that needs to be finished. Drawers. This is a fake drawer for some reason, even though there's room. The hood for the fan. Uh, for the stove, all the controls are here. Got power there I have my sensors for my tanks, the heater. What's what? That power, what's that for? <clears throat> I'm pretty sure it's for the generator. Or it might be the, the battery, the ex accessory battery. I'm not entirely sure. Because you should be able to turn things on without it running, right? Like lights and stuff, right? Yeah, there's supposed to be an accessory battery, but right. this meter, if that's the case, says that it's fully drained. So, I'm not entirely sure. There's a switch here. But, yeah, nothing's on right now, so. I'll probably have to plug it in to the power cord to get the actual I have my credit card in. I do the little bed here outlet speaker lights more storage this is the bathroom nice live edge here sink goes straight down to the gray water tank this is a regular toilet which is for block water, but I'm not going to be using block water, so... And also, it's kind of broken. And then, here's a hot wa tankless hot water here, but I feel like this is meant to be exhausted somewhere, not in a closed space, because it produces carbon monoxide, so I don't know why it's here. 
but we'll cross that bridge and I come to it. And like I said, there's peeling paint in the bathroom. That's not sealed properly. That's not sealed properly. This is all not sealed properly. Um, and yeah, we have a fan here. Which vents outside. Window. Little mirror. And uh, this is a bed slash um, eating area. This is the table and it lifts up and it attaches there and it has a leg and it's like a bench eating area which I'll probably also use as my countertop because as you can see there's not much countertop and I think I'm gonna install one that lifts up here so that I'll be able to stand at the door with the door open and prep my food and look out at whatever view I have and then when I'm over here I'm able to see outside. I'm gonna update all this hardware, the faucet. The sink's probably fine. It would be nice to have a little bit deeper of a sink, but we'll see what I can find. Otherwise, that's the AC. There's another fan, uh, vent, no fan on this one. I'll probably add like a Max Air fan or a Fantastic fan there. And then this big space, like I said, it's most likely going to be turned into a storage area or like a and like a standing office type deal so i can get things done when i need to without sitting in the bed or at the table if i so choose and here's the door so that's pretty much it i know i probably seem like i have zero energy left because it was a bit of a draining task going to the DMV and then figuring out I didn't even need to go and wasting over an hour there driving back. It's really hot today. It's humid. It's about 30 degrees Celsius and the humidity is always high in this area. So I can't even tell you how hot it is in here. It's definitely pushing 35 degrees Celsius, if not more. And uh, I'm going to get out of here, get some water, rest a bit. And then we're going to be back out here. I'm going to start cleaning stuff up and making a list of everything that I need to get done and mapping things out how I think they need to unfold accordingly. So, until then, one love, peace. Outside. Okay, so we're on the roof. And like I said, it's this welded elastomer stuff like they have on shingles. And it's fairly weathered. It's got like cracks everywhere but they're not like the type of cracks that would leak but I'd want to scrape off a lot of this and then just put down a layer of like silicone paint or whatever and just make sure it's completely waterproofed and it has some like ports of some kind on the roof here that I really don't know what they are and I can't see where they would lead to no idea what it is and then like i said here this needs to be sealed the tape here is pretty trash excuse my hair flip there with the camera yeah you can see it's got dirty in there and uh that's just not good it doesn't meet my standards especially since i'll be using this quite a lot this is for the ac it's just the cover it's underneath there and then here's another one of those ports which I'm really not sure what it is for and then more deep cracks there this is the vent for the fridge but the weird thing is there's no like cover it's just completely open so I don't know if you have to cover that when you're driving but then the fridge has to be off so there's some investigating that I need to do in terms of that um, and then yeah here's some more like RV roof um, repair stuff it's like a sheet and it's 
it's not perfectly sealed. And you can see a little bit of moisture just came out there. Sorry, this first video is probably going to be so shaky. Go to work on my camera skills. And then here's the fan that's in the kitchen. The vent. And the front here looks pretty, pretty good in terms of appearance. Got some of my neighbors, Jed and Brian, just watching me here, as I would as well. And uh, this is where the solar panels are going to go. It's the biggest area of unused, unused space. And I'll probably be able to feed the wiring down through the cabinet behind the wall. And then to the breaker, which is like right around there. So that's the plan in terms of that. And I know I'm going to be spending quite a lot of time up here just making sure everything is fixed and good. I'm on my knees right now. I was told not to walk on it so yeah like this kind of stuff is not good like that's that's pretty messed up It just came out like so easily and all of this old glue is pretty much done there's a lot of pine needles and stuff in there hope you can see this otherwise I'm just wasting your time but it's not the entire piece this is all sealed even though it's missing there so I just have to fill that in with something else or buy a new piece. Anyway, if you sticked around this long, thank you very much for tuning into my first video. Um, leave a comment if uh, you have any suggestions for me in terms of repairs. Um, really anything, I'm open to anyone's opinion, advice on what, I, what you think I should do with it, what route I should take with certain things, and yeah, um, if you like this video, be sure to leave a thumbs up, and uh, yeah, I hope you have an amazing day, or evening, or night, whenever you end up watching this video, and um, thank you so much for tuning in, it means a lot to me, and I hope you join me on the full build and you get to see all the progress. So with that being said, peace and love.